I was doing a, what if I were to ask you, um, help, help me out here, let's use some nice strategies you guys have been thinking about using relationships. What is 28 and 14? You're going to swap on that one? Yes. Well, I suppose you could. Not sure it will help you very much. So, so what other relationships can you use? Go ahead and add 28 plus 14 however you want to. Uh, I'll leave it when you use the algorithm, that's fine. You can do more steps than the rest of us if you want to. Okay, what did you get? 42. And I just sort of, now, in a, in a good classroom situation, I would get several strategies. We would model on the board. I'm going to model one of them. I just turned, I gave two to the 28, and I grabbed it from that 14, and that gave me 30 plus 12, which is 42. A fine strategy. <clears throat> the next problem in our stream is, what is 4 times 7 plus 2 times 7? 4 times 7 plus 2 times 7. Go ahead and figure that out. <laughs> if you don't know your multiplication facts, you're welcome to ask somebody, what is 4 times 7? Or you can figure it. If you know 2 times 7, you can double that to get 4 times 7. <laughs> so that becomes what? 42. It becomes, what is 4 times 7? 28 plus 14. And what is that? 42. Weird. Okay, the next problem is 49. Now do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Don't say anything out loud. Let everybody else see what they're about to see. What is 49 plus 28? Don't say it out loud. 49 plus 28. Solve it any way you want. Please use relationships. You are talking out loud. Stop that. I hear you. I don't know who you are, but you're over there. So let your partners. I know some of us. I'm, I, I'm actually included. I think better when I talk out loud. But for right now, talk in your mind. Okay. Does anybody have a nice give and take strategy? Where you sort of gave something to one of the numbers. I see a nod right here. Could you tell us how you gave take, gave into it? Um, I gave two to twenty-eight and took two from forty-nine and got forty-seven plus thirty. Nice. What is that? Seventy. Seventy-seven. Could anybody um give me another give and take? Did anybody give and take a little differently? Yeah, I've got way in the back. What'd you do? I actually did the seven times seven. No, no, no. I asked for give and take, darling. Did anybody use give and take? Yes. Uh, take take one from twenty-nine, give it to forty-nine, and make fifty plus three. 50 plus 27, ah, also a very nice give and take. Very well done. Excellent. The next problem in our string is 7 times 7 plus 4 times 7. Hmm, what is that? 7 7s plus 4 7s. How many 7s is that, by the way? I'm sorry, 7 7s plus 4 7s is how many 7s? 11 7s. Hey, do you know what 11 times 7 is? Is that 77? We're, oh, say that again, hang on, all right. So we had seven times seven, we had seven sevens, plus four sevens, and I asked, if I have seven sevens and four sevens, how many sevens do I have? Eleven sevens. Hey, we have to know eleven times seven, that's a nice one, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's a buzz. Kind of exciting, isn't it? Yes. Okay, go ahead and finish the center on. Go ahead and finish the center on. All right, everybody, what is... <laughs> Thank you, we don't want your teachers here. Alright, what is 36 plus 18? I'd love to see a nice give and take strategy. I'd love to see an over strategy. 36 plus 18. Now remember, don't talk to the person next to you, let them think. Thirty six plus eighteen. What'd y'all get? 
54, is it right? 54? Let's see, the next problem in our string is 4 times 9 plus 2 times 9. If I have 4 9s and 2 9s, how many 9s do I have? 6 9s. Is that right? 4 9s, 2 9s, 6 9s. What is 6 times 9? 54. Would somebody verbalize what you're saying? I'd love to hear right from home. <laughs> These guys are like geeked over here. They're like, oh my gosh! Because it's just amazing to me because, I mean, I know my multiplication facts from rote memory, but you put up the first 7 times 7 and the 4 times 7, it's intimidating because you're just like, okay, 49 plus 28, and then. Which we had just done. Right. <laughs> excellent, excellent. All right, so it's neat. Do you want to say more about what's neat about it? Can you say no more for just a second? I want to repeat what Kel just said. She said you're breaking up the add-ins into factors. Somebody besides Raquel, tell me where I've done that. Where did I break up add-ins into factors? Yes, ma'am. On that last one, I broke it up into sixes. I did. I broke oh, it up Guess what the next problem in the string is? And unfortunately, I'm out of room on this dumb screen, so I'm going to actually put it, um, um, I hate to erase this one, but I'm going to put it right here. The next problem in the string is six times six plus three times six. How does that relate to what's right underneath it? 6 times 6 and 6, 36, and 3 times 6 and 18. So I've got 6 sixes and 3 sixes. How many sixes do I have? 9 sixes. Check that out. There's 9 sixes, and on the bottom I've got 6 nines. What is 9 times 6? 54. Okay, so again, I need one more person to verbalize because not everybody's seeing the same pattern. There's lots of patterning going on. There's lots of nice things happening. Could I use this pattern to solve 28 plus 14 before I did anything else? Before I started adding, could I use that pattern to think about 28 and 14? Or if I were to give you another problem, like, what is 54 and 48? Now I want to ask, do any factors pop? Do <laughs> you see any factors pop? Yeah, don't don't tell the person next to you. Let them think. Please tell the person next to you think. When you're ready, smile. It's my favorite cue. You get a smile from everyone in the room. Hi, Artelia. <coughs> Okay, I'm not getting very nice one. There's one, good, excellent. There's one, no grand, that was not very smart. There we go. They're working. You don't like that one? I'm sure don't. Yeah, it's 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 kinda not doing what you were hoping, huh? Yeah. Let's run with what you get. What did you what did you say? You said something like, hey, there's nine sixes there. And there's eight sixes there. Oh, cool, cool, we did our thing. All right, so that's nine sixes and eight sixes is, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> Damn, it's broken. <laughs> Icky. Oh, or thought. So can I keep using the same sort of idea, but kind of undo? Now I'm going the other way. I've got the 17 sixes. I don't want to deal with that, but hey, 10 sixes and seven sixes. Sweet. That's not too bad. So we sort of go back to, you might have this lovely thing about factors popping, and it may not actually help you very much. You might get somewhere that you're like, ah, that wasn't so great. What else could you have done up here? Like a lot of you were sort of forcing it. You were gonna make this problem fit that pattern. You were gonna make those factors pop if it killed you. Could you have just done a little good take to turn that into 52 plus 50? Okay, y'all, have you noticed in our strings yet that we purposely put ones in there that don't follow the pattern? Because we want you to continue to think. 
you got to let the numbers dictate what you do. Here, okay, so quite for a second, quite, quite, this is important. What numeracy people do, numerically powerful people, they will see that 54 and 48, and they'll go, 9, 6 is 8, 6 is the yucky, hey, give and take, yep, bam. They will consider several different strategies, several different relationships that they've got, and they'll choose the slickest one. So if you choose one, and, it, and you're like, ooh, this is yucky, oh, I'm not good at numeracy. No, 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 no. You're exactly good at numeracy. Just choose another one. Just keep looking for relationships until you find one that is the slickest you can find. That's what people that are numerically powerful do. When I learned that, when I interviewed enough people, and I was like, well, that's what you do? Well, sweet, that's what I do. I can do that. I may do it slower than you, but I can choose from relationships and find the slickest one to add a problem. So let's see if we can make it work with one more. What if I were to ask you 45 and 36? 45 plus 36. Let's see if this time some factors popping will make us happy. 45 and 36. Any factors popping for you? Ooh, I just saw a big smile. <laughs> What factor, just tell me the factor that's common to both of those. Nine. Middle school teachers, wouldn't you love it if students could see those common factors? That would be a pleasant thing, right? All right, so how many nines in 45? Five. 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 So I've got five nines and four nines, four nines which is how many nines? Nine, nine. nine, nines. nine nines, and that's just 81. Aha, uh -huh. that one worked. Hey, I'm going to do just a little bit of erasing because I want to keep that one on my screen. <clears throat> I wish I had a little room below. The next problem in the stream. Do you like that one? Okay, that one worked. The next, heads up guys. I'm a high school teacher, so I don't want to stop with numeracy. I want to give you a small example of how I can now take this into an algebra class. My next problem is 5x plus 4x, and all I want you to do is to tell me if I had 5 nines plus 4 nines, you told me how many, what was that? Four, not five nines down here at the bottom. Five nines plus four nines, you said was? Nine nines, nine nines. So what's five x plus four x? Nine x. And I just taught you a very important concept in algebra based on what you know about numbers. It's not nine x squared, right? It's it's if I have five of those things and four of those things, how many of those things do I have? I got nine of those things. And you would be far more clear about all those symbols in algebra if I pulled them from what you know about numbers. And that's what I do when I talk to high school teachers. In a huge way, I talk about numeracy leading into the algebra that we want to, to learn in high school. I know. I wish I was your teacher in high school. I wish I was my teacher when I was in high school. Yeah, anyway, right? All right, you guys have been fabulous. We just did that string. I just want to... Oh, yeah, that's right. I have some bright screens in case. I just want to tell you one more way. Math is figure out But we can use relationships to figure. You guys have been fantastic. Have a great rest of the day. We'll see you tomorrow morning.